All right, guys, what is up? I'm back for a little bit of breakfast book review with Logan. I'm here sporting my Indiana Pacers PG-13, trying to make them play off, so good luck, guys. Uh, today, we're going to do a uh, breakfast book review on uh, a book that I just finished reading. It's called Promise of Blood. It's by Brian McClellan, and it's a little bit older, um, but the latest book in the series just came out, so I figured I'd do a recap and probably go through all the way to the end. Um, so, without any more, let's just get into it. Uh, this has been one of the more enjoyable books I've read. Uh, it's fast-paced, starts off with a bang, and it never really slows down. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Uh, the first time I heard about this book, it was one of my friends that recommended the series. Uh, I waited uh, until the final installment was ready to come out. There's nothing I hate more than <laughs> starting a book series and not being able to finish any of it. Um, there are two main storylines. Uh, which is a nice change from what I usually read, which is like got 700 storylines and you never know what's going on. Uh, there's just too much to go on. But uh, this one's only got really two. There's a third one, but not as important. Um, basically, well, the book starts off with just going right into this scene with Tannis, so that's where we'll start. Uh, Tannis is this fiery older general who is the leader of all the military forces for this place called Adrin, which is where the whole thing is set up. Um... He's what they call a powder mage. You should kind of think like wizard on steroids who can bend bullets. Uh, maybe think more like wanted, you know, where he's just like whipping the bullets around. Um, basically, they can bend bullets, make shots from a ridiculously long distance, and by snorting black powder, uh, they become faster, stronger, and smarter than most men. Um, this is why, I mean, they're basically like badass soldiers who can kind of do whatever they want. But as any good book, there's a counterpoint to that, which would be called the Cabal. Now these are kind of like, these are kind of more like wizards. They just kind of move their hands and snap their fingers and stuff happens. Um, but the opening scene is basically uh, a Cabal is running through the streets of the capital with uh, the second main character, Taniel, hot on her pursuit. Uh, there's this crazy epic battle that happens where Tannis and uh, a couple of his uh, people who are working with him are just trying to bring her down as she runs through the streets just causing mayhem everywhere and I mean he even stabs her in the stomach with his uh, um, with his bayonet and that doesn't do anything she's just like she pulls herself off of the bayonet is like get off me and uh, she's like you have no idea what you're in for and then flattens half a city block I mean there's no buildings left uh, the only reason Tanya lives at all is because um, he's got this protector uh, wildling person um, named Carpool, and she basically shields him from everything, makes it so that you know he can't be touched by this blast, and that's the only reason he lives. Uh, Taniel is the son of Tannis, so the main character we started with, this is his son Taniel, and uh, every single one of these powder mages has basically a little bit different of a talent, a little bit different ability. Uh, and Taniel's ability is that he can shoot two bullets. They call him Taniel Two Shot, basically the whole entire book. Um, basically, every single shot is a double tap, and uh, with his aim and ability, everything's a double tap to the head. So he's he's killed more privileged, more of these special wizards than anybody else in the realm, which of course makes him you know well known, recognizable, and everybody's you know always always all about him. Um, this is definitely one of the shorter reads I've ever read. Uh, I usually read things that are, you know, a couple thousand or a thousand-ish pages. This one's more like 500. Um, makes it a little bit shorter of a read, and this is a trilogy. So this is part one of three. Um, I've already started the second book. I'm enjoying it so far. But basically, I don't like to do any series that don't have an end. I've done it a couple times. I did it with Harry Potter. I did it with Aragon, where I, I read them as they came out. I did it with The Wheel of Time hate it. I just can't stand it. So if you're going to recommend books, that's fine. But understand, I'm probably not going to do the book until there's they're done with the whole thing. I don't want to read half a book anymore. Um, overall, I'd give this probably a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's a pretty good book. Lots of action. Flows pretty quick. Uh, the main characters are likable enough and have enough flaws that you're kind of like, hmm, I wonder if they're going to make the right decision. Uh, the characters get developed throughout the book. Uh, you're always finding out new stuff about them like I mean, I don't want to give away any secrets, but there's a ton of stuff that you find out as you keep reading about their motives, about why they did what they did at the beginning, which I also don't want to give away because that's a big storyline. Um, 
you know, you don't know everything about the characters, and this author doesn't tell you what the characters are really thinking. They It does a little bit, but not to the extent of a lot of books, which I really enjoy, because I really don't like knowing everything that they're thinking, because then it makes it really, really easy to predict, you know, what they're actually going to do. And I, I like there to be a bit of guessing in my books. I don't really like to know everything that's going to happen. Basically, uh... Like I said, um, I really only have two complaints, and they're not major sticking points for me, but I hate, 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 hate when you make two of the main characters' names start and sound so similar. Tannis and Taniel, it's like, come on, I, I literally cannot remember them, and I can't remember which attributes go to which, and the book just kind of goes between the two, so I'm always like, man, which, which one is this one again? Where are we at? What are we doing? And they have such similar, like, abilities and storylines that it's really hard, like, I, why? Why why would you do that? It just makes things hard for me. I just want to be able to re make, name him Nathaniel or something, something way out of there. I don't know. Um, the only other complaint I have is, you just maybe read 400 pages of build up and build up and build up and build up to get to the last like 50 or 60 pages and then you close the book out. I'm like, I just read for how long to get to a climax that you then didn't even space out over a decent length of time? I was very frustrated by that major cliffhanger at the end of this book, which of course that's probably why I did it so that you know you'd have to go back and get book two and then book three. So I'm sure book two is going to end somewhat similarly on a big cliff, but um, you know, I can't stand it when I read all this filler to get to the end and then the end is just done um overall i totally recommended this friend but i would not tell them it's greater than sliced bread which is what my friend told me i was not pleased with them <laughs> um I, that's it for this week's episode this is episode three uh i'm gonna try and do a better job of posting these more regularly i've been super swamped at work but um until next time see ya